Hi, everyone. This is Nana from Tangled Time Arts, and I'm excited to be here today. And we're going to try something a little different. We're going to set up tiles for a mosaic. And the mosaic that I'm using is the one from a fragment of your imagination challenge. Um, and that is a 31 day Zentangle community challenge from Seven Rivers Five Forest Studio. I wanted to do this every year to study the reticula and the fragments, um, but I just didn't have the time. And this year I'm getting a little bit of a late start, but that's okay. We'll get through it together. So for this project, they um, provide information about reticula and fragments. You can download the packet from their website and I'll put the information in the description. And every day for the month of January, they give you daily prompts and you can click on those for step outs, but they, they rotate between the square, the round, the triangle, and the seed fragments. Um, and the mosaic that we're using, the, the pattern, the, well, I guess it's a string, uh, which is actually serves as the reticula for this particular how that we've chosen. That's provided in the back of the packet so we are going to be setting up this one. Now, the easiest way is simply to print a bunch of these. You're going to put four days on one tile. And this is roughly the same size actually as an apprentice tile. So you can transfer that string, that reticulum, onto an apprentice tile, but I, or you could just print it on the computer paper and cut it out and fill them in each day. So you're gonna need about eight of these, but I would like to work on the regular size tiles. So I have four of them here and we're going to take those and we are going to use a little bit of washi tape and tape them together so that we can put that string on there. So I'm just taking a little bit of washi tape. And putting this together. Like that. So I'm gonna put a little in the center. And on this side, I'm going to put a little bit in the center as well. All right, once we have that all put together, you are gonna need a compass and a ruler and a pencil. So this particular string or reticulum has these circles and we're gonna start with the circles first. And the circles are, this one is roughly halfway. So we want to actually have this at about um, one and three quarters. If you have a compass, you can set that to one and three quarters as well, or you can just kind of estimate and put that in there like that. I'm gonna try to press harder so that you can see, um, but I would just suggest um, putting that in lightly because we're gonna go over that with our pen. Okay. 
Okay, there's our first circle. And then we want to aura that a little bit. So bring your compass in. I'm not really measuring how far I brought it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just kind of putting that in so we can see it and we can ink over it later. And then we need another smaller circle. And that's going to be, I would say that's probably seven eighths. And so we'll again, bring our compass in to that point and draw in that circle. All right, so that's approximately where we wanna be with our circles. The next thing we want to do, I'm gonna take a look here a little closer so we've got these elements here coming out um and so we're going to put those in and i'm actually going to start by taking my ruler and just doing a diagonal to the outer circle kind of skipping over that point and coming back here and then doing the same on the other side. At this point, I think I'm gonna remove this piece of washi tape because we don't really need that anymore. And I'm going to do the same on this other side. So going from corner to corner let me zoom out so you can see a little better. I'm gonna lift up my pencil and air draw over to here, through the center and air draw and go back over to the, the corner like that. Okay, and that's that's those are just guidelines. And then we're going to do some marks along the outside so that we can put in our other guidelines. So we want to be at the halfway point, one and three quarters. And we're going to do that for each of these. One, three quarters. And please bear with me. I'm kind of working in a small space here. Three quarters. One and three quarters. And of course, having Let me just make sure they're at one and three quarters. Okay. And then we're also going to mark, go back and mark the seven eighths. Okay. So we're really kind of dividing each of these sections up into quarters. And you could do that before for taping them together. I don't know, I just do it after I tape them together. Moving a little bit. It's kind of a challenge working with this larger sized project.
So this is the seven eighths. And I'm making my marks a little darker so that you can see them, but you can work lighter. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just pencil them in. All right, make sure your tape is sticking. So one of the things that we wanna do is we wanna put in these lines here. So I'm going to start with that. It starts from about the halfway mark and comes in. And then coming into the center here. So I'm drawing my line to the outer circle and stopping. And the same here. So the outer line. I'm matching my ruler up with the halfway point and the center, but I'm only drawing to the circle. So we get this shape here, which is this shape. And we're going to do that for all four of them. So it's the halfway point to the center. but we're only putting our pencil line to the circle. And if you want to go ahead and just skip the pencil part and work with your pen, you, you can. Okay, so we've got all four sections drawn. And then we also want to aura this, this line. So we're just going to you don't have to use a straight edge, but I am I am using it. And we're doing that for all four as well. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and then we can pencil in the grid areas here. So we're going to go from one of the quarter marks, line the ruler up from the quarter mark to the center, but we're again, we're only drawing to the circle. And we're doing that for each of those spaces. And you could, if you do have a photocopier or go to the library and use a photocopier, you could reduce the sample provided in the packet. You could reduce that to an original tile size and 
then use some transfer paper and, to get it onto the tile. All right, so we have that. And then we need to make um, the line across. So we've set this up where we've got um, the marks. So this is seven eighths from the top on both sides. And be careful here because we want to stay within the double lines. So we're just going to draw a straight line across, but we're between the double lines. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and then rotate and do the same thing. So you're really using the marks on the edges, but you're not drawing all the way across. It's only between the double lines, those areas. Staying within the double lines. And then we just have one more side. Like that. All right. So now we're going to fill in this area here. And we're going to start with this seed shape. She has hers, if you penciled in these lines here, she has hers starting a little higher than that intersection. Um, so let's, let's kind of anticipate where that would be like right about here and then go a little bit higher and then you're just going to pencil in a seed shape. And then you're going to rotate and do that for all four. And they don't have to be exactly the same. I'm just lightly penciling them in. And then we have some circle shapes here. So what we're doing is actually, and this is brilliant, we're filling in the, the fragments. So we have our square, our circle, our triangle, and our seed shapes all on this one tile. All right, so I think for for the outer circle shape, it's roughly the size of a quarter. So if you have a quarter, I would just kind of trace around it or you can freehand draw it. But the quarter actually adds kind of, it makes a really nice circle for, for this project. I'm doing that in the corner of each tile. like that. And then we need to fill in the other circles, which we're just going to freehand. They start small and get larger 
as we go up. And then your largest is at the top here. And again, they don't have to be perfect. Because once we start filling in the fragments, it will all come together. This one's gonna be a little differently shaped. So it's more of an oval. That's okay. So I'm just trying to fill in the space with as many, with, with as much circle space as I can. All right. See what we can do here. I am trying to be consistent with the number of circles so that when we put our mosaic together at the very end, it looks consistent. And we're on our last one already. All right, so we have that all filled in. And then the next step I kind of would like to do is to add the triangle fragment areas. And so these points start right under the double lines, okay? And kind of come to this, this, is, this would be the center, all right? So we are going to just pick one to start with and make sure you kind of you're kind of in between the double lines here and we already have our center line marked so you're just penciling in triangle shapes so we have a line coming to the center and then one coming out to the edge and we're just going to do that all the way around And definitely when you're working on this project, you have to rotate a lot. All right, we're almost finished. Now, in the sample, there are three more seed shapes here. And I'm gonna deviate a little bit from, from the sample and keep them the same size within the circle. She has these kind of going out into the triangle shapes, um, but I'm not going to do that. And we'll start with our center one here. So we already have our center line drawn here. So we're gonna start with a seed shape. And then we're just gonna tuck two more seed shapes in there. And I'm keeping these all within the circle. If you would like to follow the sample in the packet, 
that's fine. That's up to you. So we have three thin seed shapes within each quarter of the circle. All right, and now let's just check and make sure we have all of our elements in there from the sample. And I think that looks pretty good. So now is the part where we take our pen and I'm using an apprentice pen, but you could use any black pen. And when I checked in my Zentangle primer, it does say to draw your reticula with your pen because they are part of your tangle. So we are going to take our pen and we are going to fill that in. And basically we're just going to trace over the pencil lines that we already made. You're not gonna need any of your other tools for this. Um, and you can start anywhere you would like. I am actually gonna start from the smaller circle and just work on tracing that with my pen. And then I'm going to uh, go to these seed shapes. And I'm just working my way around. When I do the seed shapes, I always like to start with a center one. And then I do the two others, one on each side. It just makes it a little more balanced. All right, now I'm going to work my way out to the larger circle. And I'm just gonna trace over that with my pen. I'm just being slow and deliberate. I'm taking my time and enjoying the process. And now we will do the aura on the inside. And then we can fill in our triangle spaces here.
All right, moving right along. Now let's work on um, the lines. And I'm gonna work on the double lines first. And don't worry about being perfectly straight because it doesn't have to be. Once we get the fragments filled in, it will all look awesome. And then we can do, we can skip over and do this seed in the center. We have our seeds filled in. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the circle shapes. And then the last large circle shape. All right, we've got that filled in on one. I'm gonna rotate and do the others. For me, the circle shapes are the hardest. So I try to take my time with them. All right, we've got two done. Two more to go. And then our large one on the end. All right, so we've got three finished, just one more to go.
and our large one on the end. Ah, yay, we're all done with that part. And then all that we have left are the square, the square fragment areas. So we're just going to do the lines. I'm going to do the lines radiating out first. All right, I think we made it all the way around. And then we're going to do the horizontal lines. And I think this is our last one. All right, make sure I've got everything inked in. I'm not going to worry about erasing um, these guidelines because I think when we fill in our fragments, um, it will all come together. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see the, the entire finished um, piece, the mosaic. So we are going to, um, Every four days, we're going to use one of these tiles. So if you're doing this, you're going to need to do this a second time so that you have a total of eight tiles. Okay. And what I like to do with this is we're not going to sign it yet, but I do like to go on the back and just for me, I like to label them. You can do one, two, three, four. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to do A, B, C. And this would be D, but you're definitely going to want to have um, two sets of them um, just because the whole challenge is uh, 31 days and four, four different fragments are going to go on each tile. So you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles. And these could be the, the ones that you print out. So if you're just printing them from the packet in the apprentice size, you're, you're going to want eight of these. If you're transferring them, if you're drawing them out yourself on the original tiles, you're also going to want a total of eight tiles um, all together. Or you can um, use the sample in the packet and reduce it. I don't know which percentage that would be. You'll have to experiment with your um, printer, your copier, um, and see how that turns out. Um, but these are just different ways that you can get to your mosaic tiles. And I'll be doing videos um, for every four days so that we can see what it looks like all together. And I'm really looking forward to this, uh, learning about the fragments and the reticula. So thank you for joining me today. Uh, I hope this was easy to follow or doable. <laughs> um, and you always do have the option of making the photocopies. All right, I'll see you for uh, days one through four in just a little bit. Thank you guys. Love you all.